today i'm going to narrate you about a short stories to die a chakap there lived a poor couple tongletashi and his wife bugizom they had nothing that was worth keeping except for a chakap chakap is a rain gear woven from yak hairs also used as a blanket during cold winter months tongletashi had waited a long time to dye his chaka and finally one morning he went to the forest to collect dye shops before leaving the house however he advised his wife to exchange some red dye for a letter if a dye merchant arrived during his absence not long after tongleta she had left a dye merchant arrived bukizom offered to exchange her letter with the red dye but the merchant refused she showed him a bigger letter only to be refused again but she replied i give the chuck up to the dye merchant since he refused to accept the letter my foolish old woman didn't do a good job tongue letter she said and immediately left the house in pursuit of the dye merchant on his way tongue letter she saw a woman waving beside a cave and recognized her as the dye merchant's wife He went near her unnoticed and sat beside her as if he was meditating. The woman saw him after some time and shouted, "Who are you? Why are you here? Did you come here from heaven above or hell below? Why are you silent?" Tongleta she knew that she had lost a son few years before and replied, "I have come from the hell where your son has broken the horns of Shinji. He has sent me to get your presents from his parents." Shinji is the lot of death. Our son is turning our heads down even from the hill. What an expensive mistake. Did he fight with Shinji? Take whatever repressions Shinji wants. She cried and offered all her wealth. No sooner did Tongle leave her house carrying a lot of valuables than the dye merchant arrived home. His wife refused to speak to him that evening. He finally asked why she was so quiet. The dye merchant immediately went out to find Shinji's messenger. He saw a man carrying a load from a distance and shouted, "Let me see how far and fast you can run before I catch you!" and began to chase him. Tong later she ran as fast as he could when he suddenly came across a man who was plowing a field. "Run, run, run! A man is coming to kill you!" he shouted. The plowman immediately ran away from his life. while tong later she took up the plow the type merchant arrived soon painting and asked for the direction the man had fled tong later she showed the direction and off the type merchant went after some time he caught the plowman and asked him to return his belongings i am innocent he said and explained how a stranger had fooled him into running meanwhile tong later she returned home with the plowman's two oxen and asked his wife Take the oxen to a place where the grass is greenest and most luxuriant. Bugizom looked everywhere, but wherever she looked, she found that only cliffs were all covered with the greenest grass. So she drove the animals to the top where the grass appeared greenest, and sadly, the oxen fell off the cliff and died. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Until then, thanks for being with me.